Christmas trees. My favorite is fresh, definitely fresh. I love the way it smells. And I know people complain about the needles falling off of them, but it's kind of the best part. I love that when I'm vacuuming in February, still vacuuming in March, that I get the occasional whiff of that fresh pine. I just love that. Okay, Christmas tree, live or artificial. So on the one hand, you have, you know, what's beautiful in storybook, and that's a live Christmas tree. And um, we've had lots of those. We used to have them in Texas. Now we do have an artificial tree. And we have for the last, I don't know, few years, but when we lived overseas and when we lived in California, sometimes we would do something a little different. When you're in California, we had a tree about this big that sat on our dining room table, and it was... Uh, it was either a lime tree or a lemon tree. I think it was a lime tree. Sorry to tell you that lime tree did not, in fact, make it. Um, when we lived overseas, we were able one Christmas to get a small Christmas tree about this big, which was fine the first Christmas. But when we got it out the next year, uh, the bottom, which was integrated into the tree, had broken. And so there was no way for the tree to stand up. So my um, husband and I went to Carrefour, which is like a French Walmart, and bought a bunch of rice, I think it was, and basically we, we planted the bottom of this fake tree in this planter and poured the rice all around it so it would stand up. Um, other years we didn't have a tree there and we just hung our ornaments on our staircase. It was an iron staircase that went down and um, down and around from the first and second floor. and. So one thing that we've learned, it's beautiful to have a tree. We love it, but we have definitely, over the course of you know 22 years of marriage and living multiple, multiple places, um, we've basically learned how to punt when it comes to Christmas. So happy holidays, y'all.